Hello everybody, Surface Sonic here, otherwise known as Snorri on the uh, Gretsch discussion, Gretsch talk. So, anyway, I uh, got a new amp day, just wanted to share a little video of it uh, with my post. Uh, this is the Allen uh, Encore head. It was a kit that somebody bought, put together, it's all hand wired, hand wired hand wired sorry and uh, <clears throat> I was interested in these amps because in a lot of other boutique modern amps I have a couple of vintage amps so I'm kind of set on all that uh, I had this beaver bottoms cabinet uh, which is below you may not be able to see it from here but it's a 15 inch tone ring amp or, or speaker cabinet had that custom made from beaver beaver bottoms and uh, what I meant to put with it was a uh, 67 Showman that was in a blonde 64 shell. It was just too much power, too much, uh, I'm just not a big black face guy. I'm more of a brown face amp guy uh, for Fender amps, which is why I have a Vibrasonic, a Princeton from 63 slash 64. It's one of those tuxedo ones. And I've got behind me here, right to the right of the Allen amp is a uh, 62 Fender Bassman. Uh, so anyway, I did a lot of research on different boutique amps and and I was just, and I have reverb units so it didn't necessarily have to have one board reverb. Uh, watched all those great videos from uh, Tony Sims, so thank you Tony. Um, and he's another Gretsch talk guy. And uh, got really interested in the Allen amps after looking at some other ones that either were just too expensive or just didn't have all the right uh, elements of what I wanted in an amp. Some of them had less features and cost way more and I just didn't see the sense in that unless I really wanted to go bare bones. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so this amp, the Encore, is basically a brown face slash black face amp. It's got a built-in reverb tank. And unfortunately, when it was sent to me, the uh, reverb unit, uh, the tank was uh, broken, the coil snapped off. So it's an easy $27 uh, purchase to get a new one. So I did and put it in. No problem. Um, anyway, so the guy who built this, he eventually sold it to somebody who then decided to sell it on to somebody else. So I got a great deal on it, uh, on Reverb. I didn't even haggle, I just went for the price they had. So it was good, but it, let's say it's a lot less expensive than having you know, uh, David Allen himself build you one, or uh, which I would definitely maybe have him build another one because I, I think he's a great guy, uh, and more on that in a sec. But, um, but it, uh, you know, I saved a lot on, on even just on the kit. Uh, just this was still less than what the kit cost and the time and effort to build it. So <laughs> I don't have any skill sets in building anyway. Anyways, let's move on. So uh, <clears throat> I actually wrote Mr. Allen because uh, he's got these lovely uh, brass plates here. And due to my OCD nature, I thought, well, I don't have a brass plate or any kind. Of, I have a Fender flat uh, uh, nameplate that I could have used logo um, if I was going to put another Fender on top of it here as a head, but I thought, well, why not write Mr. Allen and see if uh, he can hook me up. So we are in, uh, I sent off a, uh, a little payment to, uh, he's sending me a uh, brass plate that I can put on the, the uh, speaker cap. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm, I'm digressing. But wonderful gentleman, very nice to accommodate me like that. Um, anyway, so what we have, you got your normal channel, uh, input and then you have a negative 3 dB uh, I have no idea what that means so somebody else can tell me I'm sure Tony knows so uh, here put my thumb up there uh, anyway uh, then we got a bright switch I I actually usually I'm I prefer it not on but I'll show you on this one it, it's got a great tone to it so it's not too bad. By the way, the guitar I'm using at the moment, I'll see if I can put it in here, is a uh, Gretsch uh, Vintage Select 53. You can see, I know you can see it, I'm stretching. But there you go. 
It's a lovely little uh, TV Jones uh, Tiarmans pickups, single coil. Uh, and I'm playing with no reverb at the moment. I thought I'd run through everything without reverb and then I'll add a little reverb and I'll do some of the other things. Okay, that's the middle position. Let's go to bridge position. I'm a little rusty. Didn't really warm up today. Anyway, uh, so that's the bridge. Neck. So I've got the treble, middle, and bass all up at five at the moment. We'll just leave them there. Uh, the next knob is the uh, raw, and the raw is basically an overdrive uh, uh, control. So let's kick this bad boy up. I've got the master down. It also has a master switch. After, so after the raw, you got reverb, tone, speed, depth for the tremolo. The tone I've got at about eight because I, I think less than eight it's not so good. well. If I've turned uh, tone down to five, I just like it at eight. Anyway, uh, we got uh, we'll do the speed and tremolo real quick. Put those at five. having those features. Uh, then you got a master volume at the back. So uh, the raw, getting back to the raw control. Okay, so let's go up to about four. Puts a little dirt on it, a little hair. We got overdrive, we got uh, tremolo. Let's go with a little bit of both of that. See how crazy that is. Let's go crazy. We're going crazy. <laughs> Of that. <clears throat> so 
So anyway, so that's all that is. Well, how's the reverb sound? Oh, and by the way, another nice feature of the Encore is you've got the uh, play standby control switch and the on-off in the front with this lovely blue lit uh, uh, light. So I love it. Uh, blue lit light. Blue light lit. Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's get the reverb. Uh, if we go to five. Got everything turned up on the guitar. Let's go to uh, let's go to about eight again. Maybe that's not too much. Hang on, let me dial back to about six and a half, six. that so let's add a little tremolo to it back up to about five anyway it's a great amp it's modern it will last me a long time <laughs> You don't know if you're on the other Gretsch pages on uh, the Gretsch pages um, and on Offset Guitar and Surf Guitar 101 I'm known as Surfy Sonic I'm trying to get my name changed on Gretsch Talk but it may not happen uh, I'm also a big surf guy so with my vintage amps and uh, I'll be doing more videos of all that kind of stuff but I've got plenty of gretches to demonstrate um, but this but with all the vintage amps I have which there's only three it's not that many um, I'm not comfortable taking them out of the house so, uh, maybe the 62 basement I don't know but um, or the prints that if I had to, but the Vibrasonic's too heavy and I would just rather let it sit here. Uh, but this, I would bring out, even though this has got a ginormous speaker, uh, but I'd feel comfortable with bringing it out and gigging with it. It's, um, oh man, I think it's 50 watts, but it could be 40. I'm gonna have to uh, correct myself. But, you know, between 40 or 50 watts, it's, it's all good. I should have known that before I was talking, but uh, I will uh, I will do some uh, research and uh, anyway figure that out. But it's a great amp. Thanks again for Tony Sims uh, video demonstrations of all the Allen amps. I was actually interested in one of the other ones because uh, I was like, well, this one's great. This is the top of the line of the Allen amps, the Encore, uh, and. I wasn't planning on getting it, but they had uh, they had it on reverb. Somebody was selling it. I thought I'd grab it. Now it came with an, an Oxblood grill cover, and again, because of my OCD, I wanted to match my custom-made uh, gold sparkle wheat 
broke cloth. So um, I had my guitar tech, uh, you know, we've got some new grow cloth and just put it in. I think he put it in backwards. It doesn't quite match, but it's it's good enough. Close enough for rock and roll. Anyway, it's really great. Huh? Very happy with it. And uh, thank you for your time. Just wanted to show you what what's going on with that. I'll do some more videos with different guitars and uh, gear, uh, amps, um, and do you know demonstrate some of the vintage amps I have and and uh, some other good stuff. So hey, maybe before I close out, I'll uh, here I'll put the Gresh. Here's the Gresh. I'll set that right there. So uh, one of my selections was correct. This is a, sorry, uh, this is a 40 watt amp, which is more than enough for my needs. And I'm not even really playing out anymore nowadays. goodness with an old uh, the uh, cabinet I, I didn't mention um, the cabinet is an old it's a 15 inch tone ring amp or cabinet sorry ah, ah. anyway the uh, speaker is an old JBL uh, D130 or 140 actually it's a 140 I actually found two of them for sale as a pair uh, on reverb a while back uh, that I bought specifically for this. I have the other uh, speaker in uh, storage, safe storage. Um, but this one works great. It, however, when it, you turn on the amp, you have to give it about a minute or two because a lot of static and, you know, it's like, whoosh, you know, just, I think just because of the old speaker, it just takes a while to warm up. Uh, but once it's warmed up, you don't hear it. I mean, you hear it, but you don't hear all the noise and static. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.